over. Time to say it again, Boston. Anything's possible. Banner number 18 has been secured. The Celtics are NBA champions. After the Dallas Mavericks suffered a tough defeat in the NBA Finals to the Boston Celtics, there were a lot of changes that needed to be made to the organization. While the Celtics are a great defensive team and hounded the Mavericks all series, the role players on Dallas, who were hitting their shots all playoffs, seemingly disappeared in the finals. Luka and Kyrie were the only scoring options in the finals, which ultimately led to their downfall and the Celtics finally capturing the first ring of the Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown era. In the beginning of the offseason, the Mavericks knew they needed to make some changes in order to take the final step to become champions. They started by trading Derrick Jones Jr. away, as well as Tim Hardaway Jr. They were able to pick up Quentin Grimes in the Hardaway Jr. deal to bring some bench depth. But these trades were also strategic. They were opening up space to add a bigger piece to the team. Klay Thompson had become available and the Mavericks were gunning for him. While Klay didn't have his best season, he's still a great shooter and exactly what the Mavericks wanted. After some negotiation with the Warriors and Klay being unhappy with the contracts he was being offered, he agreed to sign with the Mavericks for a three-year deal worth $50 million. If you're a sports fan who follows any sports account, I'm sure that you've seen the comment, remember that Klay Thompson went 0 for 10 in an elimination game, or some variation of that comment. While the comments are funny and also true, a lot of people are forgetting that Klay is a top three shooter of all time in his prime and can still shoot the ball extremely well. While he has not been good as of late, he was still an 18 point per game scorer last season on 38.7% from three. He can get hot at any time during any given game, and in Dallas, he will more than likely be the third option on offense, most likely being a catch and shoot guy, which he has excelled at throughout his career and made a Hall of Fame level career out of doing. The question remains, is Clay the missing piece that the Mavericks need in order to win a title? He definitely can be. All they really need from him is solid shooting and good perimeter defense. Throughout his career, he has been great at perimeter defending and can single-handedly shoot a team back in the games. Remember, this is a guy who holds a record for threes made in a game as well as a record for most points in a single quarter. Maybe a change of scenery is the best thing for Clay's career as he will hope to win a fifth title with Dallas and cement a new legacy in the late stages of his career. What are your thoughts on the Mavericks signing Clay? Will it help or hurt the team in the long run? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.